Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is another pick a card reading for you guys. Today, it's just a random message, what you are meant to hear at this time. I'm pulling cards from my Enchanted Tarot and I have three options for you guys here today. I want to remind you that if you are interested in a personal reading or you want to video chat with me or even do coaching with me, you can look below in the description or the comments to find out information for that. But the best way that you can support my channel is simply by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. So are you ready to get your message? You have a couple options here. You can choose number one, number two, or number three. But before we get into your reading, I wanna show you guys this beautiful place that I am right now. I hiked out to a very, very remote location on the side of the island that I'm staying on. And whew, it, we're out here, aren't we, John? We out here. We out here, he says. <laughs> so we are out here. There's nobody around except for the cicadas, which you guys are gonna be hearing. And I'm so excited after I do this reading to take a plunge in the water. I just really wanted to share this with you guys. Never catch him while I'm this small. Curious butterflies. You mean bread butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, hmm? <laughs> to choose number one let's go ahead and see what your card is and you are getting the princess of swords so this card the thing that always stands out to me with this card is this person who is holding like this piece of paper like a document or a letter and then this butterfly obviously a symbol of transformation new beginnings all that good stuff so I have a feeling that this is a message that something that has to do with documents or paperwork is going to turn out really well for you. So this could mean that maybe you applied recently to a job, you're waiting to hear back. This is really good news about that. I usually see the Princess of Swords having to do with career because this is like an air sign type of energy, has a lot to do with uh, your thoughts, uh, mental energy, uh, strength, uh, career. So. I feel like it has something to do with that. Uh, those of you guys who are working on some writing right now, I know that I talk to some people sometimes who are currently working on their PhD or they're trying to apply for school or something like that. This is a sign of very, very good news. Like you're gonna finish your paper or you're gonna get admitted into the school or you're gonna receive good news back about getting that apartment that you applied for. So this has to do with applications, documents. It could even be court documents, um, being able to work something out with someone. If unfortunately you're in the process of a divorce or some type of child care, a uh, child custody battle or something like that, this is actually a sign of good news that the situation will work out in your favor. So this is a message about the paperwork, the documents, the application that you have already filled out or are going to fill out, that that situation is going to be worked out for your highest good and in your favor. So I hope that this reading resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number two, let's go ahead and get your message. And you are getting the Two of Swords. So I always see the Two of Swords as the indecision card. Chances are, if you felt drawn to number two, you are caught in between two big decisions. It's probably, should I stay or should I go? 
that tends to be the biggest topic when it comes to making decisions. Should I choose something new? Should I stay with what I have? Should I break up with this person or should I stay with them? Should I leave this job or should I keep it? Should I stay in this apartment or should I you know, keep it? Should I move away from this place or not? Should I go back to school or not? This is a reminder to you because sometimes we get really hung up on like whether or not we're making the right decision. So remember that there isn't necessarily such thing as a good choice or a bad choice. There's just actions and consequences. Um, as long as you make a decision that you feel is really based off of your heart and how you feel, then that's what's important. The universe isn't going to reward you for one decision and then punish you for another. You have the freedom to make whatever choices you want to make in your life. Sometimes what makes it difficult for us to make decisions is because we're worried about what other people are going to think. We're worried about what our family's going to think or whoever's invested in us is going to think, what our significant other is going to think, what random people on the internet are going to think. And honestly, most people are not going to be thinking about you. You're just not that special, unfortunately. <laughs> of course you're special, of course you're significant in this world, but everybody else is busy worrying about themselves. And I know it can be hard to deviate away from societal expectations or the expectations of your family or the people around you in order to choose what you feel is best. And sometimes we do have to hurt people in order to make decisions that are best for us. Sometimes for our own health and our own well-being and for our own goodness and in order to respect ourselves, we have to make decisions that other people might not agree with. Like you might not be intentionally setting out to hurt someone, but as a byproduct, you're probably gonna hurt people. And so that's the thing about making decisions. Sometimes we hold back and we don't make a choice because we think that like we can just go with the flow or whatever and everything's gonna be fine. But not making a decision is making a decision. It's making a decision to stay in inactivity. And it's a lot better to decide where you wanna go than it is to just kinda let yourself be beaten around. Like I'm sitting here, on the edge of this ocean like I showed you guys and you know imagine that you're in a boat you're the captain of your boat you're steering your boat you can decide exactly where you want to go and end up somewhere amazing or you can just kind of let the waves beat you around and drift off wherever wherever you might end up somewhere you might not you know and so that's what making decisions is all about it's steering your boat it's steering your ship it's deciding where you want to go it's being open you know because thing, anything can happen but when you make decisions, that's that's the best way for you to be in alignment with your truth. That's the best way to show yourself love. So show yourself some love today and make that decision that you've been putting off and trust yourself. Go with your gut instinct. Your heart is what tells you what decisions to make and your logic and your mind is what helps you to follow through and take the necessary logical steps to make whatever it is you're after actually happen. So I'm sending you so much love and light and support for making this choice. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number three, let's go ahead and get your message. And you are getting the card, The Fool. So I love this card. This is seriously one of my favorite cards in the tarot. In fact, it's the first card. And chronologically in the tarot and what you usually see on this card is like this young dude who's got like this little knapsack and he's got a dog behind him and he's like off on this adventure oh that's funny the card the wind just blew this card away that's kind of what this message is all about just going wherever the wind blows you embracing your free spirited energy of adventure it's a message about returning to your youth. Don't forget that there's a side of you that is still like an inner child or an inner teenager. This is a reminder to you to not always take life so seriously. We don't always have to be all like spiritual and woke all the time. We don't always have to be like hustling and meeting our goals all the time. We don't always have to be obsessed with money and our careers and making ourselves successful in this world all the time. This is a message for you to get out of your head and into your body. Something I love about the Fool card is that, that clearly this card is always pictured with this person out in nature. 
And I think that the dog also symbolizes loyalty, like to be loyal to yourself, not to abandon yourself and that side of you that's free spirited, that came here to be in nature, that came here to be one with the elements, that came here to have fun. Life can be a party if you see it that way, if you take that perception towards it. So this is asking you today, how can you bring an ele element of adventure and fun into your life? Give yourself the gift of fun. Give yourself the gift of youth. Give yourself the gift of adventure because truly all you really have is today in the moment. So I hope that this message resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Peace out.